Hello everyone, Greg Ross, Rat Trapping Tips. It's the 17th of May, 2022. So, back at the gas station and business center here in our community. And uh, I'm gonna check my favorite trap on this property. This is my most productive trap on this property. I set traps all along here initially right through this whole blackberry patch. I caught the odd rat over there but not many. Here this particular trap catches rat after rat after rat. So I've pulled all those traps out of there. They just weren't worth the, the, the effort and uh, I don't bother with any more traps just here except this one. And then at the back of the building there I've got another couple of traps uh, in the autumn when the rats start flowing over there and I catch quite a few around the back door there but uh, this is the one this is the one that catches rats right throughout the year and in the autumn it might catch 10 rats in a week when they really start flowing and today what do we got in this trap we've got a big rat in this trap is what we've got big Norway rat yeah, look at that, smashed. I put that piece of plastic there to keep the rain off the, off the trap. And uh, peanut butter jars, I've got some plastic peanut butter jars in there with where virtually all the peanut butter is gone. And so I just put them in there once they're empty and the rats come in because they can smell the peanut butter residue in there and they go in and then feed and of course they come to my trap. This one's unusual because it hasn't actually been caught on a spike. It managed to withdraw as the trap was going off and it withdrew beyond the spikes but not quite far enough because the trap got it very effecti effectively on the snout and uh, that's one rat that won't be getting across to the building there. So, you get your, your traps in key places and you don't need many traps and the whole operation becomes very efficient, very quick and low cost. But it can take you a year on a property like this. It can take you a year or so, usually six months or so and you get to know the property, you get to know the habits of the rats on the property and then uh, you can you can find out the best spot during those first six months to a year. You find out the best spot, or spots, plural, uh, where to set your traps. So initially I had like 10 traps set around here and I was working them. And then I eventually learned that just one trap here was gonna cover this whole back area for some reason. Seems to work really well. Yeah. So, don't forget my ebook, please, folks. Uh, the Rat Trapper's Handbook. Available only from Amazon.com. And it's only $9.99. And that money goes into more rat trapping research that I do. And uh, it's a good book. Uh, I've been trapping animals for about 58 years now. And. I've done a lot of trapping, a lot of hunting. It was my profession. Trapping animals was my profession in New Zealand for 10 years full time and then another 10 years part time. Uh, and uh, we're talking huge numbers of animals in New Zealand. They've got a real problem with rats and other invasive species. So I've done a lot of trapping, a lot of hunting, a lot of poisoning of invasive species. And my ebook. Uh, holds most of the holds all the important secrets so for nine 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 dollars and 99 cents it's a good buy okay now you buy my ebook you read it and uh, you put those methods into practice and you catch every rat that you set a trap for virtually okay and push the like button and thanks for watching folks Thanks a lot for watching. You're great folks and
go out and trap some rats. They are one of humanity's worst, worst problems. Bye.